back at it again and uh we got a strange story today a really weird one um buckle up it's about to get wild but before we hop into that make sure you guys hit that like button all right really helps out with the youtube algorithm i greatly appreciate everyone that you know does that on a daily basis thank you guys so so much for all of the continued love and support all right and if you would like to support my channel even more Go to DocRichClothing.com and go and check out my wonderful merch on that website. Also, there should be a link down below in the description. Should be the first link, uh, DocRichClothing.com. Lots of different items on there. Go and check it out. And with that being said, let's dive in. It's almost midnight on May 1st when a Las Vegas Metro Police officer's body cam catches this, something flashing low in the sky. This is midnight and I'm fixing a truck in my backyard. At this point, I'm only with my brother and I hear something fall from the sky. I turn around, the only thing I, I see is a big light falling from the sky and moments after, I feel a big impact and a, and a bang. Here's a ring camera video you can hear the bang this is around the neighborhood so here's the video so when that happened the only thing i can see in the backyard is a tall creature probably around eight ten feet tall very thin there's like an eight foot person beside it and another one's inside and it has big eyes and looking at us and it's still there okay where is this on your property uh, uh in my backyard I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually we so we terrified of it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard. Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot, nine feet, ten foot. I don't know. They're, they look like they look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes. Okay. Like like I can't explain it. And big mouth. They're shiny eyes and and they're not human. They're 100 percent they're not human. I'm gonna BS you guys. One of my. Wow. Wow. Um, how do you explain that to somebody? Like, without them, obviously, uh, it, see, it looks here in this next clip, a cop actually came. So the dispatcher actually took him serious. But you would almost feel like the dispatcher would be like, we've got some kids that are, that are high off something, you know. But my question to you guys is, comment below, what do you think this is or was? Do you think it was just the meteorite and these guys were high or they were just high period or it was just some kind of natural phenomenon, some flash of light that happened and he thought he saw something because that's what he was already expecting in his mind? Or do you think this was a genuine incident of some kind of creature coming to earth? Let me know your opinions in the comment section. I'm really interested to um, hear what you guys have to say about that one because that that is that is beyond weird. And you could hear his voice in the phone call, like he sounded serious. He was like, "No, I like I'm I'm serious. I'm serious. There's like some eight foot, nine foot, ten foot. I don't know. They're just huge. They're big. It's got big eyes, big shiny eyes. I, I I don't I don't know. Like big mouth. I I'm serious. This is crazy. It's crazy stuff, man. <laughs> And they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. I'm going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky, too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did yeah, you see anything land like in your backyard? Wow. Or? They see like a big, that's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. Can we go that side? I want to yeah. stay yeah. together. Yeah, we can go that side. Can see, can see, can see, that. see that. No, any dot, any dot. See, this is where I would either be the hero or the idiot in this situation, right? Or before, actually. I would have gone back there to investigate and, and tried to get it on camera as much as I could, you know? I, I, I would have had to because there's been so many instances of people talking about this type of stuff and them showing like the grainy footage where you can barely make out something and you're like, ah, this looks like it might have been doctored. You know, I would have wanted to see it. Now, hey, if it was real, I might have got abducted. You might not have ever seen me for the rest of time, okay? But I was going to try. I, I was going to give it my best shot, but hey, what, what would you guys have done? Uh, I guess that's a, that's a second question. After you answer my first question, what would you have done in that moment where you saw something fall from the sky and it fell into your backyard? Would you have run back there to investigate? 
Would you have run away? Would you have run in the house and, and called police? Hey, something fell from the sky in my backyard. I don't know what's going on. Let me know. Dogs or anything? No, no please, can you check? Because these kids are not going to let me sleep tonight. Oh, yeah, I bet. I wouldn't be sleeping either. I know you guys probably seem crazy or something, but... Uh, Dude, people I, see I, stuff I, all the time, man. It could be real. You never know. By the way, I like the shirt, though. Thank you, thank you. I don't, I don't believe in it, you know, but... What I saw right now, I do believe in it. I got scared like you. I, I, you guys don't, I mean, you guys no. seem legit scared, so I don't blame you. No. So they went in the backyard and one of the officers pointed at the floor and it was a perfect circle. Here's a photo of the circle I'm referring to. Did you guys have, I'm sorry, no surveillance, no video? The camera don't belong to us. That's from the cabinet camera. So. Uh, the one of the posts. There's one, there's one back there, but there's one. Yeah, the landlord has it, so they don't have access to it, but uh, someone else has access to it. So yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll ATL the area, and we'll, we'll be around here for the night. So. I'm going to the hotel, man. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame you. Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Yeah. We got a call, and one of my partners actually said that they saw it, too. So, if you happen to see any, uh, like, I'm not BSing you, if you see any, footage? no, like, if you see any, like, little, well, not there's, little there's in like this couple, case, um, they're, they're claiming down, uh, they? eight to nine foot tall green beings that were in their backyard. Sounds crazy, but you never know. We're hoping that it's maybe just some kids pranking or doing something stupid. Eight News Now investigators have spoken with family members multiple times in the past four weeks, but each of the three times we accepted their invitation to do an interview, they didn't answer the door or their phone. Angel says they heard the patter of multiple feet in the yard. They later heard footsteps on their roof. They saw one of the eight-foot-tall creatures climb behind the controls of a large front loader stored in the yard as if trying to engage it. He got a good look at one of the... What kind of backyard do they have? What in the... This is a massive, massive backyard. Holy. I mean, they got like their own little, you know, you know, uh, home area here. But then it looks like they've got like a whole, I'm assuming they're business owners. You know, typical people don't really have, I forgot the name of this. Uh, <laughs> typical people don't have one of these and multiple. Uh, <laughs> actually, they have, I don't know. They, 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 they must they must be business owners, uh, you know, renting out these trailers or something, possibly renting these out, maybe even renting that out. I don't I don't know. I, I, I would assume so. But hey, anyway, large front loader stored in the yard as if trying front to loader. engage it. There he got go. a good look at one of the creatures, he said, a greenish grayish being with large eyes and long legs. He says he could hear its deep breaths. And when he locked eyes, he was, in essence, frozen in place, couldn't move. In the middle of the yard, where the object had crashed, then vanished, a circular impression was left in the soil. We're showing you drone video from above that area. And we know, of course, Creech not far away, Nellis Air Force Base not far. I checked in with them. They say they are not involved at all, and we are waiting to hear from the Pentagon as well. Hmm. And you talked to these people. It seemed completely legitimate to you. And, and do you have any personal thoughts on maybe <laughs> what it was? Right. So it seems from talking to our sources that something happened. There was obviously some flash in the sky. A lot of people saw it that night on uh, the night of April 30th, early in the morning on May 1st. Did that exact thing land in their yard? I don't know. What a weird situation to say the least. My goodness. But like I said, you can bet your bottom dollar. If something like that happened to me, I'm either going missing, okay, from whomever or whatever did that. You know, if it was the government that was involved and they wanted to cover it up, I'm out of there. If it's an actual creature, I may be gone because I'm getting that on camera. I am getting that on camera. I, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best, my very best. I'll probably be shaking rightfully so right i don't know about y'all but if i saw a, a 10 foot green big eyed creature you know walking around within you know 100 feet of me uh I'm, I'm i'm gonna be scared i'm i'm going to be afraid i don't know what that thing is i don't know like what it would take to defeat it right i don't know if the thing's bulletproof uh knife proof fireproof i i i, I don't know 
I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, that that would be a insane situation, right there. Absolutely insane. I I mean that that videotape would be. <laughs> it might look grainy just because I'm shaking so much, but I'm I'm gonna try to get it on camera. But like I said, what do what do you guys think that was, man? Do you guys think it was a, a prank? Do you guys think the government had something to do with it? Because they they said that the, the the news channel said that they asked, but I don't take the government serious at this point. Like, of course, if anything were to happen, it's not like they would come out and tell us. Like, they'd lie about it. They lie about it. We all know that. That that's that's no secret, in my humble opinion. They wouldn't say a thing if that was actually going on. Which is another reason why I I, I don't think that I could be president because, bro, I'm I'm telling everybody this stuff. Yes. Yes, we have aliens. We caught them. We have them at a location and, and are, you know, monitoring them closely. We have one of their ships. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling the public. I'm, I'm straight up telling y'all, like, hey, yo, this is going on. This is going on, right? Obviously, nothing to, uh, you know, seriously put the country in danger, obviously. But I don't think letting people know, like, yeah, we found an alien uh, is putting the country in any danger. If anything, it would put the world on notice a hey, they might have discovered something that we've never discovered they might have some technology that we don't yet have you know what i mean so it, it, it might uh scare the rest of the world into into backing down and bowing down to us like yo yeah yeah we we, we found one of the ships we're examining it there's some technology that uh we've been we've managed to uh replicate successfully from their ship you know have people like oh oh my goodness <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. Anyway, like I said, you guys let let me know how you're feeling, man. Let me know. It's 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 just really weird that an officer said that they saw that he saw the same thing too. Talk to me. Talk to me. Um like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button if you're new. It's right up over there. Hit that subscribe button. Check out that video too. And go to DocRidgeClothing.com. Peace and love. I'm out.